Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne continues our coverage from Manhattan's Upper West Side. Kristen. Sandra, I did feel it too. I was sitting in our studio at 1023 this morning and I felt the walls, you know, start kind of move and it felt like a, a loud truck was going by. Everybody in New York knows that sound, but it kept going. And we all sat there and looked at each other and we said, is this an earthquake? Yes, it was. At 1023 AM, the earth cam at the Statue of Liberty suddenly began to shake. So did people's apartments and hotels across the city. What the hell is that? I was in my hotel room in Midtown and just all of a sudden the mirror started clacking really loud and it was my uh, first day in town so I don't know if this is normal, is it construction nearby? I don't know if this is an earthquake so I feel like I'm going to sit down. I don't think it is but I think it's just the construction but it's very weird. What's weird is that some people didn't feel it at all. The earth cam in Times Square didn't move one bit, and people didn't seem to notice anything. Joel Spielberger was underground when the alert came in on his phone. Yeah, the two train uh, down in the uh, Wall Street area, and the emergency alert came up like it's supposed to, and, uh, you know, we're riding along. There was no news from the conductor. We just kept going north. Yeah. Some city residents couldn't contain their, well, shock. <laughs> I spoke with a woman who works around Columbus Circle, and she says when the earthquake struck, her entire building lost power, but she said thankfully it only lasted for a few minutes. We're live on the Upper West Side. I'm Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.